name's John John Perkins from Area Perkins. I'm here to see about the Honda. Oh, yes. One day I'm gonna have something like this. This for when I'm Mr. Paul's age. I think I'm gonna get it, bro. I know you're gonna get it. It's lit, bro. Y'all. I I'm with Joe. Got that fat. Go on for the long. Count me yeah. How was that? It's very tough. I, I like the, the sound. It's way, it's way better. Are you want to do a lid for this? Yeah, sure. Yo, whoa, yo, whoa, whoa, hello, whoa, whoa. Hit 0069. Show it a dope. Yup. Yeah. Whoa. Yup. Whoa. Pass. Yup. In the studio it is. That man sleep in the studio. That's dedication right there. You two, what's going on? It's John John. London. Back again with another video. Appreciate you guys watching today. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because this is going to be a fire, fire video. Or it could be an ultimate fail. Today I'm going to do something I've been waiting to do for so long. So long. A long time, yeah. I'm going to go get this car. I got the funds. You know, I finally found a car that's you know reasonable that I think I can do. Um, it's out here in Alpharetta. Or Roswell, actually. It's not even in Alpharetta. It's in Roswell. So we're gonna go pick it up, see what it's talking about. First gotta hit the bank, get the funds, and then uh hopefully hopefully I can I can get off the lot with a new car today. So Money, you got anything you wanna say? Let's get your car. Let's get that's it. <laughs> Let's go. By my leg. I'm always trying to buy every video. Good, man. How you doing? I need a cashier check. Can I get you an insert debit card for me? Yes, sir. Walking out the bank like, ha, ha, ha. Let's go get this whip, boy. Let's go get this thing right here, man. My name's John John Perkins for Area Perkins. I'm here to see about the Honda. Oh, yes. Awesome. Doing all right today? Mm-hmm. Cool. I'll be right back with you. All right. Done. 
They might try to hit me with the wig. I ain't gonna let it happen though. I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm gonna leave out here with this car today. I got a lot of this. Ooh, it's the stressful part, but let's see if we can get it done. I think I'm gonna get it, bro. I know you're gonna get it. You know I'm gonna get it. I like I like that, bro. That's why that's why I knew. I said, let me bring you here. You know, <laughs> let you take me here. <laughs> cause, I, Cause I knew you was gonna come through with the right motivation. Of course, bro. Yeah, it's, Always that. It's looking. It's looking. Let's just see. Let's hope we get it. Pull up. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? One day I'm gonna have something like this. It's for when I'm Mr. Paul's age. You want an NDX when you, when you his age? It's for the kids, man. We got three kids from that Latina girl. Iced out. <laughs> we talk about cars. I'm a fully loaded. Fully loaded. Honda Odyssey. Honda Odyssey. I like that. I'm just kidding. Well, vans be the most comfortable. Like if you get like a big soccer mom van, I, you might see me driving like a, a luxury van. <laughs> they got this. You won't see me driving. Oh, for real. The van's got that space in it. Let's just hope I get it. In this next clip, you'll either be seeing me very sad or you'll be seeing me very happy. London has found a dog. I'm still waiting, guys. <laughs> still waiting to know, but there's a dog. So London has went over there to touch the dog. <laughs> he says it resembles his old dog, so he's very shocked. But I'm still waiting, y'all. Keep praying for me. We're not completely... We're not completely outside yet, but uh, it's a process to this, y'all. It's a process. Um, I just gotta see. They don't know if the uh, the banks are messing with me. Just off of you know, I'm young, and there's a whole bunch of logistics that uh, go into this. Waited there for a very long time. They're, they're trying to work with me. They're calling different banks, but I'm finna go directly to my bank to see. They can mess with me. I don't see how they not mess with me even if I'm trying to put so much down on the car, but <sighs> back to the bank. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> what video is this? The car broke. Yeah, this is the part where I tell them what happened on why I did to get the car and why I'm still walking and why we don't go out on dates because I can't take you anywhere. We've been out on a date. <laughs> We've been out on a date too. So yeah, um, the car experience, man. Let me just break it down to you guys how it actually went. You guys pretty much saw me go there, test drive the car, and um, you know, basically start talking over the details with the guy. And I'm gonna break down to you guys a little bit of the backstory. So um, I inquired about that car on a Sunday. And the guy called me on Monday and said they just got it in and it was being serviced or whatever and it would be ready. Uh, he was going to check and see if it would be ready for me to come look at it on Tuesday, which is when I filmed this. This is actually days later that I'm filming this part right here. It's like Sunday. So like almost a week later. But uh, that's that's cool for you. It's cool to get you. But yeah, he told me it would be ready and I, um, you know, I was like, okay, cool. I'll go look at it. You know what I'm saying? So my plan was to, <clears throat> the car was, I thought it was 6000 it's, it was actually 5500 but um, my plan was to go there and um, I, I could have bought it outright but then I'd have been struggling on the rent on the rent and all that type of stuff for the, for the next month so I was like hey here's a, a better idea what I'll do is I'll just put a very large sum of that 5500 down and then I'll um, have a very small car payment like a car note it'll be like eighty dollars sixty dollars on the month you know what I'm saying I can pay that real fast and I can pay it with ease and then I'll build my credit up so next year I can be able to get a new car and all the other things that you need to, when you, you know, need credit. And I tell you guys, um, with, with much, much um, emphasis, credit rules everything in this world. Insurance and credit is what I'm coming to learn. Because if you don't have those two, you literally have nothing. Crazy ideas. Why has nobody made insurance like a bundle pack? Like you get health, auto, dental, like, you know, you get all of them in like one bundle pack with one payment a month. I'm going to write that down. After the test job, I go in and I tell them, I say, here, look, man, I had the cashier's check. Like, y'all, you guys saw it on the video. Like, oh, it's right here. I got a little scared for a second. I couldn't find it. It was on the ground. I walked in. I said, Ugh, here's what I want to do. I said I wanna um I wanna put this down on the car and then I you know what I'm saying I wanna pay the rest or whatever, finance the rest. And then he's like, Oh well we don't think you can finance this car, uh because uh you know we planned it on selling it all out right or whatever. 
Um, but we don't even think the banks will allow uh, you to finance the car just off the year and how many miles it had on it. It was a 2009 Honda Accord, but it did have over 100,000 miles on it, which made sense. But um, he said, let me check with the finance department. So he goes and checks with the lady and then he comes back and then he's like, well, yeah, they'll probably let you finance it, but they'll want you to finance the whole thing out rather than you putting up the amount down, which didn't make any sense to me. But now that I think about it, I was like, OK, well, maybe the banks just want it. I, um, you know, more interest, you know, make more interest off the loan or whatever, instead of getting $6,000 versus a, a $22,000 loan, you know what I'm saying? They would make more interest off the $6,000 loan. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I've been getting over a cold. Um, I'm severely sick. Uh, hey, subscribe for, for my health, man. Subscribe so I can live. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm already, like, kind of folding, which I learned now is when you go into these car dealerships, you have to have a plan and you have to stick to your plan. If it's not gonna work out according to your plan, like if, if you go in here and say, this is what I wanna do, this is how I wanna do it, and they say, no, we wanna do it this way, go home, just just, just leave it right there and say, oh, well, I can't get this car, you know what I'm saying? But I, me being me at the moment, and uh, I came all the way out there to Roswell and I wanted that car, you know what I'm saying? It was nice, I did like the car, I was driving it, I was like, man, this is gonna be nice, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was folded. So I was like, all right, let's let's do it because I did have the money. Like I had the cash to like if even if they did finance the car all the way out, I could I still had my cash right there so I could just pay the payments through that cash, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be like new money I have to pay. So I thought it was fun. And now we gotta wait to see what the banks are talking about. And I, I was so nervous at this point because I already knew the banks probably wasn't gonna mess with me just because I have entry level credit. Like I just started trying to build my credit. I was just like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, we'll just wait on this one more bank. And then they're giving me a whole bunch of other options like have you, maybe you could try to go to your bank and try to do like a personal loan or whatever and like at this point like I'm sitting like I'm just like I'm kind of not really feeling it but I still want the car but I, I should have just went home at this point but I'm so I'm like okay well let me try to go to my bank and like I'm getting away from what I wanted to do like once I didn't get approved by the banks I shouldn't even got to that step but once I didn't get approved by banks I should just went home I ended up going to my bank and trying to see about it and um, <clears throat> they were messing with me to a point but in the end, it just didn't work out. Like the whole thing just didn't work out. And another thing was, is the guy had another guy he was trying to sell the car to, or another salesperson was trying to sell the same car. So it was kind of like a little battle between like, am I gonna get the car? Are they gonna hold it for me? And is this guy gonna come in and buy it today? Because they were really not trying to hold the car for me. Um, like literally he was kept giving me like deadlines, like, or he kept calling me like, hey man, what's the, what's the update and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, dude, like, I told you I'll know tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Like, wait. But he's like, okay, I got this other guy, bro. Like, I understand that. And I understand the car dealerships are in, in their business to make their money and sell their cars. So, you know, he doesn't have to hold the car for me. But it's just like, good business, like, you would hold the car for me, you know what I'm saying? For at least another day, just so I know. But I knew he was going to try to sell my car. And I'm pretty sure he did, you know what I'm saying? But he did call me, like, two days after the, uh, the, like after I even left the dealership and I hadn't even talked to him since then he did call me so maybe I don't know maybe the other guy flaked too and the car's still available but yeah is what it is you know what I'm saying I didn't get the car but hey man this is just a all a learning experience for me you know what I'm saying like you just live and you grow you know what I'm saying I'm still gonna get this car um, I'm just gonna put together a few more good weeks of money we got Labor Day coming up so time and a half i'm gonna go get it tomorrow but i'm just been feeling real sick but i'm gonna have to bust my butt for about another three weeks and hopefully we'll have an update to this video in another three weeks or so two three weeks something like that because that's when i expect to be back at the dealership or back at wherever i buy my next car because um that's just what i plan to do hey if you like this video though uh, for for the, for the experience i guess <laughs> i know you guys didn't get to see me pulling off on the lot you know what I'm saying but you guys will see it soon man I'm not gonna give up on that I'm not gonna stop I did treat myself this weekend to some new clothes just because to uh get my get my sorrow away of not getting the car but that's okay I'm gonna get the car subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy my videos and if you made it to the end leave a like man tell me you made it to the end follow me on Instagram John John Vlogs follow me on Twitter John John Vlogs underscore and that's gonna be it for today's video it's John John signing out and I'm gonna catch you guys Real, real soon.